Welcome to Simcoe County, Ontario. Today's video will take us on a tour of the town of Penetanguishene, Ontario. Penetanguishene is located on the northern end of the Penetang Peninsula on the southeastern tip of Georgian Bay. The Penetang Peninsula is an area of land north of Berry that juts out into Georgian Bay. The town of Penetanguishene was incorporated in 1882 and today has a population of 10,077. Prior to European colonization, the area was home to the Wyandot, or Huron indigenous peoples. French translator, Etienne Brule, was the first European to set foot in the area sometime between 1612 and 1614. In 1793, John Graves Simcoe, the first lieutenant governor of Upper Canada, visited the area and saw the location's potential as a Royal Navy naval base. The Penetanguishene Naval Yard was built by the Royal Navy in 1813. In the 1840s many French Canadians from Eastern Canada moved to the Penetang Peninsula attracted by promises of cheap and fertile land. Today, much of the town can trace their ancestry to these early French settlers and many still speak French at home. Penetanguishene is one of the few bilingual communities located in southern Ontario. To our right is St. Anne's Roman Catholic Church, the most prominent church in the town and was constructed between 1886 and 1902.
Penetanguishene is infamously known for being home to the Central North Correctional Center and the Waypoint Center for Mental Health Care, which includes a high-security forensic psychiatric unit for people declared to be not criminally responsible for dangerous offenses but considered unsafe to be allowed in the community. While some manufacturing industries are found in Penetang today, the economy of the town is primarily driven by the tourism sector. Tourists are attracted to the area due to the marinas that can be found in and around town which provide many boating opportunities, as well as snowmobiling and ice fishing which are popular in this area in the wintertime. Many urban Ontarians own second homes or cottages in the Penetang Peninsula and the area's population swells in the summer months. A few modern condominium complexes and retirement residences have popped up along Penetanguishene's attractive waterfront over the last few decades. heading through downtown Penetanguishene on Main Street. The town slopes steeply toward the shores of the South Basin, an inlet of Georgian Bay that the town is built around. Along the shore here is Penetanguishene Rotary Champlain Wondat Park, a really nice park along the waterfront, which includes many attractions and amenities and is located adjacent to the marina.
As we pass by the Penetanguishing Town Marina, you are reminded of the town's naval history. Although the 19th century naval base did not last long, just north of town at Discovery Harbor, you can visit the site of the former naval base where you can find reconstructed buildings of the Navy Yard and replicas of two sailing ships from the War of 1812 era. The name Penetanguishi is believed to come from either a Wyandotte or Ojibwe word, meaning land of the white rolling sands. Penetanguishene is located 54 kilometers north of Barrie and roughly 150 kilometers north of Toronto. It is also located just 5 kilometers from Midland, the largest town on the Penetang Peninsula. Stay subscribed for a video covering the beautiful town of Midland in the coming weeks.